last spring. As I revealed in AUDIO LETTERS No. 45 and 46, the Russians began seizing control of the United States Government. Key officials from President Jimmy Carter on down have been replaced by doubles, and these doubles are not human beings in spite of their appearance and behavior. They are artificial, robot-like living beings called organic robotoids. When I first revealed these things, I braced myself. I knew that many of my listeners would be unable to absorb them, but my reason for doing it was the one I stated then. Without knowing about the robotoids, events would become impossible to understand. Since that time, robotoids in key positions of power have been causing many surprises in the news these days. The strangest surprises of all have been caused by the Jimmy Carter robotoids. In AUDIO LETTER No. 48 two months ago, I detailed the major instability problems the Russians are having with their Carter robotoids. The holographic computer brains of the robotoids include instabilities which were present in the real Carter brain in a way that exaggerates those instabilities. As a result, ever so often a Carter robotoid does something so unpredictable that it is dangerous to the Russians. An example was the famous so-called Killer Rabbit incident of a few weeks ago. A Carter robotoid told the press, in all seriousness, that he and his family had been attacked by a swamp rabbit while fishing. Can you imagine? The Russians want to rid themselves of the nerve-wracking problem of the unstable Carter robotoids. Earlier this month, on September 15, an attempt was made to do just that. The alleged President Carter was entered in a foot race, of all things, in the Catoctin Mountains near Camp David. It was a strenuous six-mile course which included much uphill running. Carter Robotoid No. 14 was programmed to run at maximum speed and not to let up for any reason. The Russian strategy was simple. Runners who overexert themselves and who do not stop and rest when danger signs appear can do themselves serious harm. Sudden overheating, dehydration, and heart failure can take place abruptly in extreme cases. Robotoids, as I have explained in past tapes, embody a crude facsimile of human metabolism. Their hearts are relatively weak, and they live for only a few weeks or months depending on the stress problems. They have no self-preservation instinct, so Carter Robotoid 14 was programmed to run like the wind. It was expected that suddenly, without warning, he would suffer complete heart failure, collapse, and die on the spot. If the Robotoid died before aid could reach him, everyone would just accept it as a tragic accident, and the Russians would be rid of the problem of unstable Carter Robotoids. But the day of the race dawned cooler than it had been expected by the planners. Carter Robotoid 14 did collapse, but did not expire instantly. His face turned a deathly greenish-gray, and he was moaning and incoherent, and yet when the Secret Service men picked him up, his legs kept running as programmed. Finally an ambulance arrived, but Carter Robotoid 14 did not use it. Instead, the Robotoid was bundled off in a car to Camp David, and there Robotoid 14 finally died, too late and out of public view. The purpose of the race had been to eliminate the Carter Robotoid problem in a way that would leave no questions, that is, sudden death on the spot. But there would have been a storm of questions if Carter's alleged death had been announced after help arrived and took him away, so after the race Carter Robotoid No. 15 showed up to reassure everyone. He looked nothing at all like the deathly figure who had clapped just a short while earlier in the race. He looked like a new man, and in a sense he was. The contrast between the dying Robotoid 14 and the fresh Robotoid 15 is something you can see for yourself. Just get a copy of Sports Illustrated Magazine for September 24, 1979. On pages 16 and 17 you will see the pictures of Robotoid 14, stricken, stumbling, mouth agape. Then look at the fresh smiling picture of Robotoid 15 handing out trophies on page 19 only a short while later, and then ask yourself, 
Is this the same man? My friends, the Robotoids are one example of what you need to know to understand the secret war now going on, but there are other things you need to know too, because the war between Russia and her Bolshevik and Zionist enemies has many facets, and it is very ancient. 